Right on. When I add so much feed at such and such a protein content, and that's important to note because if you change that protein content, you're gonna change the amount of ammonia that's produced as a function of the feed that you're adding. You know, we've got nitrogen going in, we've got ammonia being produced, and we're manipulating the amount of nitrogen going in uh, for this, right? In a healthy system, this is the output. And if we want more of it, we feed more. Or if we want more of it, we switch to a higher protein feed. Um, if we want less, we switch to a lower protein feed or we feed less. And you're gonna know when you're matching uh, nitrate production to fish, uh, to, to plant consumption, because uh, you're gonna have all of your plants in your system and they are either going to be, um, you know, you're gonna see nitrate level out or drop. Uh, it shouldn't be consistently increasing. If it's consistently increasing, if, if you've got plants, they're growing, they're healthy, and you're like 80 parts per million, 100 parts per million, 120 parts per million, you're producing too much nitrate. That doesn't necessarily mean your nitrification is bad. It can mean it's very, very good. It just means you have a fish plant imbalance and you need to tone it back. The only way to do that without sacrificing weight gain for your fish is oftentimes to switch to a lower protein feed, okay?